Merkel's bio is an incredible feat. The online equivalent of erecting a towering bronze statue in Montecito. Wow, now we know she didn't win her sixth grade spelling bee. Otherwise, it would have been listed. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here, you guys. Pour yourself a cup of tea, have a seat, come sit by me, let's talk. Sometimes I'm giving gifts from you guys, and today is one of those days. I was sent this article by the New York Post that is so hilariously calling out, well, I would say Harold and Fraud, but mostly it's just Fraud Megan that they're calling out, and I am here for it. So let's take a look. Let's read through it. Let's have some laughs. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'm Jen Honk Honk. Let's take a look. So yeah, this was shared by New York Post, and our newest member of the Drunk Goose Club, Kristen Fleming, wrote this one, and I'm excited to read it with you. You ready? Influential woman? Question mark? The Sussexes' new website doesn't call Meghan Markle what she is, a grifter. (laughs) So yes, she's been called a grifter before, but just wait. Kristen Fleming really launches into um, just all the things wrong with Meghan, and I'm excited to read this through with you. Let's, Let's keep going. Archwell, the philanthropic foundation of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, has a simple mission. Show up, do good. The jury's still out about the second part of that statement. But we now understand just how the environmental crusaders do show up in private jets paid for by other wealthy, influential people. And when they arrive, there always seems to be sprawling homes owned by the rich and famous where they can just rest their heads. The only thing I would add to that is there also seems to be photographers anytime They get on or get off an airplane. Weird how they're always concerned about security and a supposed near-catastrophic high-speed car chase. And yet, photographers seem to know exactly when and where they're going to be and no cause for security, no cause for alarm. Could it be that they're calling them on themselves? Of course they are. Let's keep going. Their latest free jaunt came Tuesday on a 10-seat I never know how to say that, that one, Bombardier, I guess, Challenger 605 to Vancouver, chartered by a local private aviation company, according to Page Six Report, where multiple sources spoke of the couple's alligator arms. (laughs) They certainly don't like to spend their own money, one insider said. Another added, it's always other people's money. And that's our question, I think. My question, your question, why? Why are other people spending money on these two? What do they bring to the table? What do they offer? Theirs is a solid strategy for amassing personal wealth and ensuring they always have a ride to the next glitzy concert, movie premiere, or charity dinner to pick up yet another empty award. Life is indeed a grift. No longer working royals, Harry and Meghan are now simply full-fledged celebrities. Yeah, right. The couple is no longer bound by the House of Windsor's stringent rules about freebies and presents. Last updated in 2002, those guidelines state no gifts, including hospitality or services, should be accepted, which would or might appear to place the member of the royal family under any obligation to the donor. Those two are now free to take whatever adheres to their sticky white gloves. Gratis stays in luxury houses. Do you remember, side note, do you remember that? That was a story that came out too that allegedly Megan had asked someone, like just met someone and then asked something like, I would like to use your beach house. Like basically not even just come stay as a guest. I would just like to use your beach house. (laughs) Free private flights, beautiful jewels. The world is their oyster, but that oyster is riddled by hypocrisy. Ding, ding, ding. Just this week, they unveiled their regal rebrand on the new Sussex website. Quote, the office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Dutch. Yeah, I don't say their titles. It reads beneath a coat of arms of the United Kingdom. That's a shameless move considering the duo ditched the monarchy in 2020 and agreed to not use their titles online to tout any new endeavors. But hey, 
I don't even like to read that part. Oh, Her Majesty the Late Queen is gone, and King Charles sadly has more pressing matters like his health. Harry and Meghan want to live high on the hog, off the fumes of their royal titles, and be the toast of Tinseltown. But they want none of the duty and service to the crown. Ding, ding, ding. Exactly what we've all been saying. The website itself is an exhausting obstacle course of fluffy, meaningless, new age jargon and unbridled self-praise. For instance, Prince Harry's page notes his memoir, Spare, is, quote, told with compassion, vulnerability, and unflinching honesty, if he does say so himself. Markle's bio is an incredible feat. The online equivalent of erecting a towering bronze statue in Montecito, so packed with personal humanitarian accomplishments, it would make Mother Teresa blush. Wow, now we know she didn't win her sixth grade spelling bee. Otherwise, it would have been listed. The few omissions, self-awareness, humanity, and a sense of humor. And for one of my favorite parts, among the more bizarre lines is one calling her a, quote, major advocate for, quote, family care, a phrase that effectively means nothing, but is eyebrow raising considering her own careless disregard for family. Remember she managed to invite George Clooney and Oprah to her wedding? Yet, in terms of relatives, only her mother made the list? Nary a cousin, aunt, uncle, let alone her estranged father, not to mention Harry's shattered relationship with his father and brother. All that money the Sussexes don't want to spend, they quote, earned, by publicly trashing his family. It's strange that Meghan and Harry want to cling to kin. They've only shown contempt. Folks they've painted as the uncaring Istward who rejected her despite pleas for help and sent her running from the UK. Cruel, terrible humans, so irredeemable, they needed to be exposed on a special with Oprah. And yet, association with the royals provides the ultimate cachet. Harry and Meghan want it both ways. Here's a more fitting motto for their new site. All grift, no duty. Chef's kiss, mwah, that was beautifully written, so well said. Oh, I love it. This is exactly what all of us have been saying, and I just love it. I love it because you know they're looking at it. Again, I go back to the books we've read where they talk in depth about how both of them, Megan and Harry, have had an obsession with Uh, reading things about themselves in the press. We've seen it. They directly answer back. They pretend to despise the press, except for they use the press to tell them their whereabouts and try to get publicity for themselves. And then um, apparently or allegedly they read these things about themselves, blow back up again. It's just a a funny cycle to me. But uh, yeah, you know, they're reading this and I'm sure plates are breaking all over Montecito or wherever the heck they are at this moment. But too funny. I love it. So well said. So well written. Uh, I It's that family thing. I would like to really underline that about uh, the way that they use the family when it suits them and disregard them and um, well, trash them any chance they get. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine having so little to offer that that's what you trade on is trashing your family? Mm, the pair of them. Awful. Well, this has been fun. I love stuff like this. Thank you to everybody who made sure I saw this article. If there's an, you know, definitely leave me comments. Let me know if there's another one that I need to see because I love stuff like this. And um, yeah, I can't wait to bring more stuff like this. Too funny. Thank you as always for sticking with me and watching. I appreciate it so much. If you want to further support the show, we do have our new merch, Caffeinated and Feisty. Thank you to everybody who's picked that up. Check it out. I'll try to leave a a link there in the comments for you. Uh, what else? If you want to further support, definitely check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. We have been doing so many extra videos over there, bonus content, deep dives, really going hard after the grifters. And um, man, I just love this article so much. Anyway, so check that out if you're interested, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can become an executive producer like the lovely geese and ganders you see on the screen before you. Again, a huge thank you to all of you for being here, for watching, being subscribed, hitting that thumbs up, all that stuff. You know it really helps. 
And I truly hope you all have the best day, no matter what. At least we can tell ourselves, hey, at least we're not uh, Harry and Meghan. Jeez. Thanks for everything. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.